FNAF in Road Time is finally here and we will be playing the official night. Let's see! What do you think of- I'm fine with doing whatever, as long as I get to see funny things happen to people. This is dumb and weird. His voice needs to deceive you My voice just wants to leave you Here we go again. Do I? I would hope so. You know what? I've had enough. I'm bypassing your stupid filter. Good luck with that. Fuck you. Eat shit. Dead end. Uh, jingle Zoo um, Megatron Rakaka Jeans Camuffatore Day uh,
Digital Circus was inspired by a horror short story from 1967. Most people are probably focused on the colorful aesthetics of the show, heavily inspired by a series of hidden puzzle object books called I Spy, which also got a TV adaptation back in 2002. Or maybe you're wondering about the circus show stuff. For that, the show takes a ton of notes from the 2001 anime Popey the Performer. Believe it or not, this is more insane than anything Digital Circus has done so far. However, what caught my interest was the inspiration for the show's darker themes, the 1967 sci-fi short story titled I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream by Harlan Ellison. In the far future, a military supercomputer named Am has annihilated humanity, all except for five people. The rogue AI, fueled by bitterness and hate for the race that created it, torments these five survivors of humanity for all eternity, making them experience their own personal hells over and over again. Obviously, the M counterpart for Digital Circus is Kane, except as Gooseworks hilariously notes, he is a silly little guy and did you know about the obscure YouTube animator who influenced the creator of the amazing Digital Circus? It's obvious by now that the show is an endless well of creativity, and a lot of that is thanks to the works that inspired Gooseworks, the show's creator. I've talked about some of those influences before on this channel, but I wanted to find out the specific people that inspired her bright yet disturbing art style. Enter Ben Wheel. He is a severely underappreciated British animator with a penchant for technicolor nightmares beyond human comprehension. Most of you probably know him from a video titled Henry Eats, a bizarre short film he made in 2003 that brings those illogical nightmares in our subconscious to life. However, the animated short from Ben Wheel that perfectly made me go, oh wow, Gooseworks did get inspired by this guy, was Top 5 Animation Containers. The incredible blend of overly smooth children's show aesthetics, bizarre 2D animation, and disgustingly detailed 3D models all serve to evoke that same sense of pure chaos that I felt while watching Lola Runmo, the other popular-
Hello? Huggy Wuggy is back in this terrifying tape from Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first agree. day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Do I get to see my old family? Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed. Or join the counselors of Playcare, whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Where'd you just guys get all the children? you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, <laughs> so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done? What have I done? Worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And... And what? <laughs> should you come back... Years later... Your conscience finally getting the better of you. May you descend into the dark and the dust, finding that? all that awaits you Huggy? are incomprehensible horrors. Huggy? Each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. What did I do? Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow. Their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic. Watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or I perhaps turn away. they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left. A world. 
friendship! Got to see the stairs to hell are still blocked. Oh! Oh! What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Ah! I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. I didn't find the dang tape. Ah! Down I go. Get away from him. Ooh. Ooh, he's in here with me. He's quick. What the? Ah! Ah! What the hell? Run! Jesus! Woo! Oh, God! That is legitimately terrifying. There he is. There he goes. There he is. Ah! What the fuck? 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 What do I? Where do I go? Down into this hell. Fucking Christ! Oh, Hugman! Hugman was. Oh! He's coming down! He's coming on this ship! Don't! Holy fucking shit, my guy! Oh my fucking god, this is my least favorite thing ever. This is my least fucking favorite thing ever. Oh, danger? Holy shit. Ah! Ah! ah I hate being chased! I fucking hate this! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Ah! Where? This is the worst day of my life. Why am I walking so slow? Go. Just... Uh, pull! You motherfucker! Die! Die! Oh my god, I hate everything. Ooh. Yes. Goodbye, where'd it go? Is that my toy now? Do I have that or is that just not? Oh. Ah. Well, that was a fun little detour. What? What in my god? I don't think so. Holy crap! Okay, oh, oh, okay, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. Oh my god, but I want a hug. <laughs> oh, no, I can't read that. Hug, 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 high five. Remember when we high fived? Remember? High five, hug, high five. Okay, goodbye, 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 goodbye. What are you gonna- Oh, you can't get through there. Oh no. Too bad for you. Whee! Well, that was fun. Oh my god! Okay. Danger! Oh! Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh my god! No, this way. Ah! I'm jumping across. I'm falling down. I'm going to- I didn't know which way to go! Where am I? Where am I? Oh my god, where am I? What do I do? Jump? What do I do?